Hi, welcome to Siemens NX video tutorial. And this is version 2007. So in order to get a little bit more acquainted with the new solver, which at the moment I don't like, I want to redo some of the very old exercises, partly because they're only in low resolution and without audio, and partly because I want to learn a little bit more about that new solver. So that's a very simple revolve and a simple circular pattern. Now let's have fun with Siemens and X. Okay, let's go for a sketch on the YZ plane. That's all the, also a new feature, but you can deactivate those principal planes if you want. I want to go for the right plane and I want to draw a profile which looks something like this go over here go up slightly here then with an angle don't snap onto that midpoint then go up then over here don't snap on that midpoint then again at an angle but not parallel to the one down below like this then it goes straight up and then move over here and try to snap here. Yep, and close this one. Now I could make this one a construction line or a sort of center line, and that's possible. And the new feature is here you can have half diameter dimensions from this line to those lines at the side. Now, if you want to have persistent relations, switch this on. And if you go for a point, you will see that's a relation, that's a relation, here's a relation, but these are not persistent. So if you really want persistent relations, do it like that. Apply, select, apply, select, apply, select, apply, cancel this out, now go for the vertical one, apply, apply. Apply, apply, so I, I need vertical ones, sorry, apply, and horizontal one here, yeah, it's already there, yeah, the visibility depends on the zoom. That's sort of crazy. Now I want to scale it with the first dimension. So go from this line to that line here. You will get this dimension. Double click and make it 107. And scale it. Okay. Let's move this one over here. Maybe like that. So that's really great. I didn't want that. So this should be moved over here. Yeah, it's kind of very flexible, the whole new solver. Now let's add some more dimensions from this line to that point. This should be 10. Then from this line to that one here, this should be 30. From this line to that point here, this should be 72 and from that line up there to this line here it should be 95 now let's move this a little bit Maybe like that. Okay, 
Now for that half diameter dimension, let's select this line, go to that line, select that dimension, right click, make it convert to half diameter, and this should be 14. Now from this one to that point here, no, from this line to that point, this should be 24. From this line to that line, this should be 28. From this line to that point, it should be 40. And from this line here to that one, it should be 80. Eight zero. Okay. Now let's arrange those dimensions a little bit like this. Okay, this looks pretty good. Now I need one more constraint from this point to that point coincident, or put this line on that planar axis, on this one onto that one, and that would be the sketch axis. So I could go for collinear, put this one on that one, apply, and then put this one onto this one and OK. Sketch is fully defined. Finish that sketch. Now let's make a revolve. It's still selected. The rotational axis will be recognized because we did that half diameter dimensioning. So I want to go for 360 degrees and make sure it's a solid. And confirm. Let's hide that sketch. And for the hole, you can do it with a 2D sketch. And I want to go for a 3D point. So go to point, 0, 0, 0. I want to go for 30, 0, 0, and confirm. And then I can make a hole with that point. So go for hole, select that point. It should be a diameter of 11. It should be a simple one. This looks pretty good, so just confirm. Now I want to make a pattern feature, a feature pattern. I want to pattern this hole. It should be a circular pattern. The vector would be the y-axis in this case, I suppose. Let's take a look. That's the z-axis. I want to have four and count is 4 and the span is 360 and it still needs that reference point and that would be the origin so just confirm and confirm once again and I'm done so hope it was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel would be very helpful you could follow me also on facebook grabcat or instagram and many more Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.